My name is Kim and thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Q&A and 1000 subscriber giveaway. So I have some questions about Weight Watchers, about running and all kinds of fun stuff. And so, yes, I am on the WW Blue Plan and I have followed Weight Watchers as part of my journey to lose 100 pounds and keep it off for the most part over the past 10 years. Here on my channel, I do what I eat in a day, grocery hauls, and other videos to help you live your best life, however that may look. So if you like this kind of video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications. So to get ready for these questions, I have my Timmy blends. I was so excited when Timmy reached out to see if I was interested in collabing. So if you have not seen Timmy, they make a whole bunch of wellness products that support your overall health journey. So when they gave me the option, I chose the Timmy Greens Superfoods blend. Now I'm not going to lie to you. I actually do a pretty good job of eating my fruits and vegetables. But on days like today, which I'm going to get into in the Q&A, sometimes it just doesn't happen. And so it's really great to have something like Teeny to know that I can get the nutrients that I need without having to stress about eating a salad the size of my head. So what I love is this has matcha, spirulina, wheatgrass. You can just jumble it up. It's 35 calories and you have all kinds of micronutrients in here. And I think I've shared in my videos too that I struggle with low iron and anemia and having something like this helps support my overall energy levels because let me tell you, sometimes this girl gets tired and it's not just, you know, low iron or exercising too much or not sleeping. Um, we have a dog or dogs that like to get up at 1am, 4am, 5am. It's like I have a flipping newborn. And so just having something that's going to support my health is really great. So they are kind enough to give me a coupon code. So you can promo code. What is it? That makes me sound so old. Am I old? I don't, we're not going to make any claims that it helps with aging because there's nothing that's going to stop that. But I will tell you that at 40, I feel a lot better than I did at 20. So they have been kind enough to offer a promo code so that you can try out the products. And when I was browsing, I was super amped to see like a gut health one, which like probiotics are good for a girl like me to support my overall digestion and health. Cause sometimes things don't work the way they should. Just saying. So be sure to check out down below. And I will also post a link and promo code in the description down below. So if you're a little freaked out, cause this, I mean, just looks like green juice, but to me it tastes a lot like matcha and I love a good matcha frappuccino from Starbucks, which I kind of make points friendly, but kind of not, but throw a scoop of the teeny blends in the blender with a cup of almond milk and some sugar-free vanilla syrup and some ice and you are like good to go. So it has a pretty neutral taste. It's not sweet, but it is one point on the like plans, but I don't know that I would count it because it's the ingredients are super good. So it is, I feel like I need some glasses, wheatgrass, chlorophyll powder, spirulina powder, chlorella powder, spinach leaf powder, broccoli powder, kale powder, kelp powder, rocket leaf powder, parsley powder, celery powder, grapeseed extract, and dandelion extract. On to the q and I am honestly like a pretty open book. I have gotten so used to unsolicited questions about my weight loss that I welcome solicited questions. One of the biggest topics was how many points I get in a day, what does that look like on maintenance, and things like that. So I get 23 points a day on the WW Blue Plan, and I get 28 weeklies, and yes, I eat all of my weeklies, all of them. But typically I do not save them for the weekend. I sprinkle them throughout. When I first started WW back in the day, the, the Wendy plan was really popular. It was a way of spreading out your points throughout the week that was supposed to be helpful to jumpstart weight loss. So I end up kind of doing it that way, but not very strictly. 
Now, technically, I am not on a maintenance plan. I am still trying to lose weight. So when I rejoined Weight Watchers at the end of 2020, my goal was to get back down to my WW goal weight, which back in the day when I hit lifetime was 133 pounds. Now, when I first started my weight loss journey, I was anywhere between 245 to 250, and I used 245 pounds as my starting weight. Now, keep in mind, I am five foot three. Your girl is not tall. So I hit my lifetime weight and I went into maintenance and I actually kept losing weight, which I credit with being 10 years younger and not having kids. But I actually got as low as 122 pounds, but I will tell you 122 was not healthy for me. Mentally, physically, I, it just, it was not good. Anyone in my family will tell you, it was not good. So when we're going about setting goal weights, it's not just being like some arbitrary low weight because I think there's a sense of kind of, I don't want to say sick, just sense of satisfaction that I was able to get so low and then the idea that I could say I was half my weight. Now I am struggling to find what the best sustainable weight for myself is at age 40 with two kids and just like a busy life. When I rejoined at WW, I was around 145 to 150 and 150 is my like weight where I'm like, okay, we got to get something done. And I have since gotten down between 131 and about 134. Now in April, my husband and I went on vacation. We had my birthday, my son's birthday. Then we ran into Mother's Day and my weight has kind of like fluctuated. And so I would really like to hover around 130 pounds consistently before I switch into maintenance. And I'll admit like going into maintenance is so scary because getting those extra points, like what does that mean? Am I going to put on that weight? Because I feel pretty good about myself right now and I want to continue feeling good about myself. Now I will also say that if I need to dip into my activity points, some weeks I do, and then say like a day like today, I am not perfect. So I volunteered for most of the day helping clean up a youth camp. And so today I just decided I'm not counting, I'm not tracking because the camp was providing lunch and sometimes you can be super strict and stay on point, but I knew that my food was gonna be to the most part out of my control. What am I gonna do? And I could have been finicky. So they had hamburgers, mac and cheese, they had vegetables, they had salad. So I could have had a plain burger patty, no cheese. I could have skipped the mac and cheese and I could have had salad and the vegetables. They also had cookies. <laughs> but I chose to eat the cheeseburger on a bun. I had a little bit of mac and cheese and then I had salad and vegetables. I did skip the cookie. Because in that situation, I was choosing a better or best option. And when I'm in situations, I try to think of what is my good option, how can I make it better and what's the best. And some days, like you are not going to be perfect, but you can find that good, better, best, and it will vary on your circumstances. So like at home, I might have had a turkey burger with my Velveeta cheese, no bun, my Bolt House ranch, but like that's not an option. And so I always want to be able to like live in the real world. So on that topic, do I do like huge no track days, cheat days? Not answer is no, like I don't do a cheat day because that really like messes with my mind because I don't like cheating because then it becomes all or nothing. And then I just go all in on the junk food. And I also find if I'm not looking for those good, better, best, then when I'm eating poorly for even like a whole day and just indulging in all of the things and losing that moderation that is so important in WW, then it's harder for me in the following days to get back on track because I'm more likely just to eat a ton of sugar and like coming down from that sugar high is so hard. I know on Instagram, someone asked me what time, when do I work out? And I was guessing they were like, is, are you morning, afternoon, night? And I am a workout when I can work out kind of girl. So it is when it's going to fit in best with my day. So big announcement, I am training for a triathlon. And so I am following a specific training schedule. And some days that's two workouts, some days it's one, some days it's none. Today was none, but I also like move picnic benches and I'm pretty sure my biceps are gonna hate me tomorrow. But I 
know that the earlier in the day I work out, the better because later in the evening, I don't want to do it. So I have gotten up as early as 440 in the morning recently to run with Yeti. And I typically try to save some of my workouts for lunch because otherwise, if I take a traditional lunch break, one, I'm going to eat out, which is spending money. Two, I go shopping, which is spending money. Three, I get coffee, which is spending money, which is not bad, but that all like adds up. And Mark, my dear husband, is behind the camera smiling and nodding because he knows that I, I really do enjoy just like browsing and shopping. Um, so yeah, so I do like to save some workouts for lunch and I work pretty close to a greenway trail system. So it's easy for running, biking. I don't do anything besides those particular workouts on my lunch break. And as we get into the warmer weather, I'll probably just be biking during lunch. Another question I got is, have I ever stopped running because I was just kind of tired of it or had an interruption in exercise? So when I joined WW like 11 years ago, maybe 12, I don't know, it feels like forever, I started out walking and I was walking with our older dog, Denali. And it, the whole goal was when I started running was so I would be outside less because the idea of walking him in the winter for an hour seemed like the worst idea ever because I hate, hate being cold. Fun fact, I hate being cold. I petitioned Mark to move to Hawaii this winter and he said no. And so I didn't talk to him for five minutes. Just kidding. But um, I hate being cold. So from that point, I have really exercised consistently, whether like my nutrition has wavered and whether I've tried paleo or Whole30, I've always come back to WW, I will say, but I have exercised consistently. Now, I have had moments where I lost the joy for running and in that point, I allowed myself to dial it back and find other things that maybe filled that void. So I've done spin class, I've done Zumba, I've done boxing. I've done toning classes. I tried CrossFit for a little bit. There is literally not a workout that I wouldn't try, probably. Although water aerobics is not high on my list, although I have done it. I'm trying to think of classes at the Y that I don't like. But literally, I'll try anything. So if I am struggling with motivation when it comes to exercise, I really just switch it up. I did take time off with both my children. I had C-sections and then with Silas, my youngest, I had piriformis syndrome, which basically gave me sciatica. And it was the most terrible pain I've ever had in my life. I literally, I did run through my pregnancies and I was about 30 weeks pregnant out on a run and basically my butt seized up and I went from running to I could not walk. It was, it was just so hard. But other than that, I have pretty much exercised consistently. Now I was joking with a friend that maybe part of the reason is, is that I grew up Catholic and so I have immense Catholic guilt just like inside my DNA. And so I can guilt myself into almost anything. It's not good, you should not guilt yourself into exercise. But I really do enjoy like getting outside and moving my body. I am, I love being out in the woods, whether I'm hiking or trail running. All right, I gotta get a sip of this teeny because your girl is getting a little dry. Yeah. All right, do you have a question for me? Um, not yet. Not yet? Anything else I should talk about? Yeah. What? Um, whatever you like. Whatever, whatever I like. What do you think mommy likes? Yet. So just so you know, in this like Q and A and YouTube stuff, I thought I would share, I do work full time outside of the home. I am a copywriter and content creator. Um, I work in a marketing department for a manufacturer. So, you know, live in the busy, it's not nine to five, it's actually seven to five and I work half day Fridays. So that comes in really handy. But now on to the giveaway. So the giveaway, you will have to comment down below with your favorite lunch to take to work. So I will have all the rules and all the things down in the description box down below. And I'm gonna ask that you leave your Instagram handle if you have Instagram so I know how to contact you. 
So this giveaway is totally supported by me. There's no sponsor to this. I purchased it with my own money and I purchased things that I think are helpful in like keeping you excited about your health journey. So fun fact, where I live is the home headquarters of Vera Bradley. And so when I moved to Fort Wayne almost 20 years ago, I totally did not get Vera Bradley. And it took me a long time, but I totally dig it. Um, it kind of helps that I freelance for them for a little bit uh, and just fell in love with some of the patterns. So we have a Vera Bradley Stay Cooler lunch bag. And I absolutely love their lunch bags. And I think having a good lunch bag will get you excited to carry your lunch to work on like the Kroger Clipless bags that I use. <laughs> but that's, I, I struggle finding a lunch bag big enough to take all my food. But this is actually a really great size. It has a great handle. I'm leaving it in the case so I don't get anything on it. But yes, Vera Bradley lunch cooler. And then also this fun little bento box lunch kit from Amazon. I will link it down below. And it has like your spoon. That's a fork, Kim. This is a fork and this is a spoon. I don't do dishes at my house. Um, so yeah, by the way, if you were ever curious, Mark and I have been married for 13 years, 12 years. How many years? 12. 12, 13 in December. I don't know. These are not my things. But anyway, like it's easy to like put your lunch in this, put your lunch cooler, take your like DC Cola, whatever you like. And there might also be some other fun goodies that I just decide to share with you. Starbucks. So be sure to enter the giveaway by commenting your favorite lunch to pack for work down below. All right, thank you so much for watching this Q&A, subscribing to my channel, getting me to not just 1,000, but 1,300 subscribers, like totally bananas. Thank you again to Timmy for collabing with me and sending me this awesome greens powder because I am totally digging it. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, do something you love.